Hello everybody, good to see you. Today we're going to talk about the round out. At top left we have this symbol round out is 0 0.009 back to AB axis. We are going to control the location of surface for this part of this cylinder back to axis AB. Again at top right we are going to control, let's say, flatness perpendicularity for each cross section individually for this flat surface, just for this part of that, not for whole part of this flat surface. At bottom, we are going to have run out TZ is 0 0.1, access is AB for each cross section individually as we can see here dial gauge is going to refer to each cross section individually we are going to check the radial oscillation of each cross section individually here again at top we can see we are going to implement this run out tz is 0 0.2 back to a this axis and for each cross section we are going to check it at bottom we can see we are going to check let's say perpendicularity or flatness for each cross section individually we are not going to talk about the whole surface for each of them individually we are going to check it it is not 3d control it is 2d control here again we are going to have another example tz is 0 0.75 back to a and here we are going to rotate the component around this axis and for each cross section we are going to check it this flatness and perpendicularity for whole this surface here i would like to show you how we are going to have this simulator we have tz 0 0.75 back to a for this conic surface for each cross section individually we are going to check it this oscillation and this dial gauge should be perpendicular to this surface whenever we are going to rotate this component around this axis here again we are going to have another example we are going to have this let's say run out tz is 0 0.1 back to a for this flat surface and we are going to check let's say the form of this flat surface for each cross section individually it should be in that tz this oscillation this let's say flatness or perpendicularity whenever we are going to rotate the component around this axis here I can say we are going to implement this run out for let's say any surface with circular cross section the same as cylinders cones or spherical surfaces and also we can implement it for flat surfaces but we are not going to use any any modifiers such as LMC or MMC Again, in this example, we are going to have this round out TZ is 0 0.75 back to A and B. Here we are going to have two references and I would like to show you how we are going to have a simulators. We have A this plane and we are going to have B this axis. We are going to have these two simulators and then we are going to rotate the component around B to measure the flatness perpendicularity for each cross section individually. The last slide I would like to highlight whenever we are going to implement round out symbol, we are not going to control the whole surface. We are going to control each cross section individually. For this cylinder, we are going to check the form and let's say mass distribution for each cross section individually. We are not going to control the whole shape of this surface, not twisting, not barely because we are going to use run out in coming session i'm going to talk about total run out in that situation we are going to control the whole surface 
for now i would like to close this session thank you for today i hope you enjoyed see you next time